right, we've got just a few problems on this page. <clears throat> so dealing with the same graph that we had on a prior page, on the prior page. So here, let's talk about number five, which is a really commonly asked question. You're integrating from um, eight to six. So actually, this is not the one that's really commonly asked. Number eight is really commonly asked, but this one isn't so bad. Uh, if you're integrating from eight to six, you actually have to reverse the limits of integration and go instead from six to eight. So let's do that. Let's work on six to eight, which is from here to here. And since that is negative two, so it's an area of two, but below the x-axis, when we sign it negative, it goes to positive two. Number six, this x minus one is a right shift of the function. So if my limits of integration are now nine to 11, then what I did was I took the section from eight to 10 and I shifted it right. So let's see, eight to 10, the net signed area here is zero. This one is a bit separate, is a bit different because what we're doing is taking the integral from nine to 11 and subtracting off the integral of one from nine to 11. So this is a downshift, not a right shift. So the integral from nine to 11, if we go look at our graph up here, this integral is going to be, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to 11. This is the triangle with a base of two and a height of two, so an area of two. And then I am subtracting off the curve y equals one, which is here, on the interval from nine to 11. So two wide and one tall. So subtracting off two and getting zero. All right, number eight is the one that I get asked about every year. So number eight requires that I find the equation of this line. The equation of that line is a slope of negative two thirds. I rise by two, go left by three. So negative two thirds x plus one from the y-intercept. All right, once you have that equation, what you're trying to do here, and let's see if I can get the pen to work, trying to come up with the area of a trapezoid. Okay, don't laugh, I just had to hit pause and have a conversation with someone who walked into the room, and I think I remember where I was, that I need to find the area of the trapezoid, starting over here at negative six, which would be here, and going to negative pi, which would be here. So that trapezoid. So I need to use the equation of the line to find the height of this linear function. So that'll be like base one and base two. So the area of the trapezoid is one half times the height of the trapezoid, which is constant here, but that constancy is going to be, um, how to best put it, negative pi minus a negative six. So effectively six minus pi. Then the height of the function for base two at six is going to be, at negative six, excuse me, is going to be five because it is that four plus one or five. And then at base one, when I'm plugging in a negative pi, I have negative two thirds times negative pi plus one, close paren. Okay, so then let's try this. We have negative pi plus six all over two. And then if I can multiply out, I have five plus two thirds pi minus two thirds. And then I need to keep going here because it does simplify not totally nicely, but somewhat nicely. Um, five minus two thirds is going to be 15 thirds minus two thirds is 13 thirds plus two pi over three. And, uh, this isn't that much fun to work on, to be honest. So I'm gonna actually split this up into negative pi over two plus three, like that, and then I'm gonna to have to foil it. And let me just make sure, I feel like something has gone wrong. So I'm gonna hit pause and check it. All right, my friends, I have found my error, and that was that the negative two thirds only distributes to the negative pi, not to the plus one. So this should be five plus two thirds pi, plus one still, plus one there. So this is a six right here. Five plus one is six. 
And I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to FOIL this out for you, but if you FOIL it out, you will get the answer in the answer key, which is 18 minus pi minus pi squared over 3. All right, let's do number 9, which is the last problem on this page. And they are telling us if the integral from 2 to 4 is negative 8, what is the integral from 0 to 2? So from 2 to 4, we have this section right here. Good morning. Oh, my goodness. This, this um, video might never get done with all the interruptions I'm having today. Okay, so the integral from 2 to 4 is negative 8. And we know this part of it here is negative 2, so this part of it must be negative 6. And remember that the entire funky region here is negative A. And so that means that the two wings, these two wings right here, this wing plus this wing, must be the entirety of negative A subtracting out the negative 6. So then if I want just one of the two wings, I have to divide that by 2. And then to get the integral from 0 to 2, I have to take this part as negative 2. So basically I'm going to have negative a over 2 plus 6 over 2 minus 2. So that's going to be plus 1. Negative a over 2 plus 1. Finally finished this darn video.